Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Kavre, a couple that loves to play board games. But I don't love tomatoes. You might even say Ilya is a picky eater. I am not. You don't like olives? Me. That's like the only thing I don't like. Coleslaw? I like coleslaw. Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Yeah. But I feel like I need to give it another try. It's been a while. Anyways, today we're going to talk about a new game called Picky Eaters. Dun, dun, dun. Picky Eaters is designed by Tanya Basu and Avi Seton. Its art is done by Alex Hoskins and it's published by LeFou who gave us this prototype copy for us to review and check out because this game is coming to Kickstarter. You can check out that link down below. Now, what is Picky Eaters? Well, it's a game where you are collecting ingredients, building some recipes to entertain five different guests. Now, the catch is those guests are Picky Eaters. Mm -hmm. Will you be able to craft the right five recipes to make sure that everybody has a good time? Or will somebody just be sauerkraut? But let's take a quick look at how this game plays. As always, you begin by setting up. You'll shuffle the food deck and the guest deck. You'll select the first player and you're now ready to play. The goal for the game is to make the best feast for five picky dinner guests. The game will be played in five rounds. Each round will have five steps. Let's go over them. First, you'll reveal a new guest. Second, you'll fill the market with food cards, two cards per player in the game. Third, you'll deal five food cards to each player. These cards will be kept secret. All players at this point will discard down to 10 cards. Your maximum hand limit is 10 in this game. Anytime you obtain more than 10 cards, you must discard down to 10 immediately. This will matter in the later rounds as you're able to save cards in between rounds. Fourth, starting with the first player, each player takes one action until all players have passed. The actions you can take are as follows. Get food from the market. Here you'll take one card from the market and add it to your hand. Prepare a recipe. If you have both the recipe and the corresponding ingredients in your hand, you may prepare a recipe by discarding the ingredients and placing the recipe in one of your five slots. You're limited to only five recipes per game, but you may replace any recipe you've already made when making a new one. Also, when preparing a recipe, you may discard three cards in exchange for any one ingredient. You may only do this once per recipe. Another action you can take is playing an item. This can influence points for your own recipes or potentially mess with your opponents. You may only play one of each items per recipe. Another action you can take is discarding two cards to draw one from the food deck. This will hopefully help you find the right ingredients or recipe. And last, you may pass. Once you pass though, you may no longer take actions this round. Now you'll keep playing until everyone has passed. This brings you to the fifth step of the round. You'll pass the first player card to the left. The game ends once all players have passed in the fifth round. At this point, scoring occurs. You'll go through each player's recipe slots and calculate the scores as follows. You'll count each recipe separately, two points per recipes, and any modification based on the guests that are attending the feast. You'll add up the points for each recipe and the player with the most wins. And that's Picky Eaters. I'm hungry. I am hungry too. But are you picky? No. What do you think of Picky Eaters? What were your first impressions? First impressions of Picky mm -hmm. Eaters. What a neat little concept of a mm -hmm. game. I think it's very cool to like have to plan around the guests that are like coming to your party mm -hmm. um, and just like make that work. Mm -hmm. It was a little hard to do, of course, and I, but I enjoyed it. It was fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I thought too. I was surprised that this is not a theme I've seen before because there's so yeah. many different food games and kitchen games and where you're crafting food or making recipes, I feel like that's a mechanic that is present in quite a lot of different games. Mm -hmm. But to relate it to like a dinner party with picky eaters, I think it's just brilliant. And it was so fun to dive into this game and, and see what party occurs with all these <laughs> wonderful guests that arrive at your door. Mm -hmm. And the thing is too, is that they weren't like picky eaters in a, in a sense they like, they didn't like certain vegetables or certain mm -hmm. like, spices or things like that they didn't like specific meals mm -hmm. so it was always like trying to plan around like how best to serve all of the guests but you couldn't really do that because there was a new guest every round and there was ways to switch the guests out which i thought was really fun uh and, and some it, hate pizza exactly not everybody loves pizza yes yeah but what are some of the reasons why you should check this game out 
Well, I kind of already touched on this already, but it's a very relatable theme. Mm -hmm. Can you think of a time where we had people over and we knew that we had to make specific things for specific people mm -hmm. or like guide our food to, in the direction so that we could accommodate mm -hmm. for everybody? It just happens a lot. Yeah. And I think in this game, it's a perfect example of making a theme work with a game. Mm -hmm. What I like too is that it's relatable. You get to relate to all the characters and be like, oh, I also don't like this. And they like this. I love this as well. Yes. And I think the funniest part in all of our experience is it was really interesting to see all the guests arrive one by one. Because you have that feeling too of arriving at the door and it's like, oh, it's a school teacher. And then all of a sudden it would be a completely different person, a different circle. I'm like, how do all yeah. these people know each other? Yeah. And I found that like that story element that we've crafted throughout the table was almost like a role playing game. Because we're like, yeah, what, it was fun. what is really happening? Here. <laughs> what is the connection here? Yeah, it was a neat little like extra task that happened exactly. during our gameplay. Yeah, for sure. It's also a pretty simple game to get to the table. You saw the setup, it's literally just putting cards on the table and then you're playing all of a sudden mm -hmm. and you're making those choices and you're looking through the cards and the mechanics are pretty straightforward for the game. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and the nice thing about it being like super straightforward, mm -hmm. it also tosses in that little bit of. And the nice thing about it being so easy to get to the table is that it then shifts into this like varying guests that start to pop up. So now you're not focused about making or setting up this game. You're really just focused on what's about to come up and how you can like plan your strategy for that. It's very directed at those guest cards too. Mm -hmm. And like we kind of hinted towards before, there are ways to remove guests and bring in different guests. Mm -hmm. So there's that uh, manipulation of the maybe the process foods or the premium the, the goals, quality basically, yeah. food yeah mm -hmm. yeah the goals mm -hmm. and it makes it a little bit harder uh, when especially when you're playing in a larger group yeah. I think the last thing I'll mention as well is I love when games have little fun facts oh. and the recipes have fun facts so while you're waiting for your turn you can be like hmm I wonder what this food is I wonder what the fun fact for the food is and you get to learn a little bit more as you play the game because there is going to be that downtime between mm -hmm. turns and there's a lot of different types of food mm -hmm. like varying cultural um, food like it's mm -hmm. very cool to see mm -hmm. yeah. but with that out of the way why might somebody not want to check this game out well, I think with varying gifts coming up as the game progresses, you could build out perfect food for one person and then a guest comes and they hate it. Yes. And that doesn't feel great. So if you really like, if you considerably plan an adaptation and shifting strategy is not really your forte, you just want to know everything right off the bat, build for it, try to get the most points, this game may not be for you because you may be disappointed with the heavy plates, you may be disappointed with the guest shifting, mm -hmm. or with all your points that all of a sudden you've had, and all of a sudden, some of the guests decide to leave and go to another party, and you're left with people who hate pizza. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely one of the downsides of the game, uh, which leans into what I would say about this, is there is a take that element that is very, very apparent, because it's mm -hmm. all open information, we know what recipes everybody is cooking, mm -hmm. uh, we know who likes what, and it's easy to just play cards that maybe get rid of a guest, block the uh, block the recipe that somebody's already made, mm -hmm. or decrease it in its value type of thing. So if you're not looking for, if you're looking for a game that doesn't have those types of interaction, Picky Eaters might not be the one for you. It also felt a little long, I will say. It did. For yeah, just I think a, for five like, rounds. For just a card game. For a card yeah. game, yeah, I think it felt long, but it felt satisfying by the end of it once mm -hmm. you did have it. So, But I think it was a surprise because it does feel like a game like, let's quickly play this, but no, you're there for probably 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah, there are some key decision points and then some like uh, waiting that has to go on. And yeah, like Elias said, is it does take a bit longer than you would expect. But overall, not a bad game. I like it. It's a mm -hmm. neat little theme that's done well. I think it's fun to get to the table, easy to teach, and those are all the, always the types of games that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. It really um, resonates with a lot of th a lot of people, and the theme just kind of shines for it. Yeah, the theme won me over even from seeing this game initially promote mm -hmm. promoted on socials. So it was really awesome that we got to check it out and play it because. The art in this game too and the whole mechanism of collecting different things, putting it together to make recipes and seeing that story and that dinner party unfold and seeing what truly happens mm -hmm. and seeing who wins as well because some people are just better at hosting dinner parties than others. That is true. I'm not much of a host. No? Mm -mm. Well, hopefully you can win picky eaters and learn from your mistakes. Maybe. Maybe I can. But if you want to learn more about this game, 
go to that link down below in the description. You can learn a little bit about what Picky Eaters has to yeah. offer. Ask any of the other questions that you may have in the comments because we will answer them and we'll tell you what our pickiest food is. Well, Ilya already pointed out what my picky foods are. Olives <laughs> and sauerkraut. Exactly. What are mine? Uh, tomato sauces. Anything tomato sauce I don't based. love tomato sauce. I think yeah. it's the smell. Like it just, it feels very overpowering. Like even on pizza, I always get light sauce. Yeah, yeah. But tomatoes are in everything, so it's really difficult. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti, spaghetti. We don't have spaghetti a lot. We have Alfredo sauce. We do. Spaghetti. Yes. There's alternatives to it as well. Oh, I guess I need mean like a bolognese. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, for our question of the day, tell us what your picky foods are. What do you not like to see on that plate of yours? Exactly. Let us know down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, because we talk about board games on a weekly basis. That we do. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and you enjoy that lovely meal of yours, whatever you're eating. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.